Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to be doing what is your future in five minutes, okay? So we have a very simple card spread. I have the cards underneath in different piles over here. So we have group number one with the amethyst, group number two with the rose quartz, group number three with the selenite. Also guys, thank you so much for being patient with me with uploading YouTube videos. I have been up and down with my emotions. These energies have been really, really intense. Um, but I am doing live streams at the moment, so if you ever want to see what I'm up to, if you ever want a reading from me, then live streams are where I'm at, and also private readings. And I'm also beginning to sell jewellery as well, so keep updated on my Instagram if you'd like to follow me on Instagram, at the Crystal Girl if you'd like to know what's going on with that. And also please subscribe to my channel if you'd like to, and let's get started. So we have group number one with the amethyst. Hello group number one, let's get started with your reading. So we have this gorgeous amethyst cluster, it's so pretty. So let's see what's your future in the next five minutes. In the next five minutes, not five minutes, your future in five minutes. So let's see what is going on for you in the future. So we have divine guidance number 45. We then have happiness. If happiness is what you want, then happy you shall be. And we also have miracles. Have faith that your miracle is on its way. Your prayer has been answered. Surrender the how. And we also have patience. So we also have some tarot cards, but I want to look into those two first. So let me turn down my lighting a little bit so it's not too bright. So this is basically relating to the fact that everything has its own timing, okay? You are being guided to the right time for you, okay? Everything is going to come at the right timing. This is pretty much perfect, I feel like. This is almost like you want to be happy. Happiness is coming towards you, okay? If you've been feeling down, if you've been feeling really confused, a bit like me, just feeling a little bit unhappy, a little bit not feeling very content, then you will feel content soon, okay? Everything will be changing around. And basically, the miracle is on its way. You just got to have patience that so things will turn around. And if things are feeling like a maze, then don't worry about it. Just let the divine guidance come towards you. This feels really, really light as well. It does feel like lightness is coming towards you, okay? We also have from the tarot, the seven of wands, nine of pentacles, and the king of wands. So what this is really showing to me is that there's some sort of authority figure that could be controlling you, could be making you feel quite unhappy. But it's also showing to me that you really want to be determined to possibly, there's so many different outcomes this guy, so just bear with me. Okay, so one of the options is that you really want to be connected to a fire sign. There could be a fire sign that's in your periphery right now. And this person could really, really, really be kind of your person. And you think, hmm, maybe they could be my person. Also, there could be a fire sign coming towards you guys. There is another message that you guys are really focusing on yourself. You're feeling very unhappy, feeling very discon disconnected with yourself, discon discontent, I don't know if that's a word, but feeling disconnected and not feeling content with where you're at, okay? I do feel like the best thing for you to do is just to really have patience and to know that things will change, okay? This is basically showing you that things will change and you'll feel much more happier, okay? What they really want you to do is just focus on yourself, okay? They want you to be in hermit mode for a while and really, really focus on what you feel is most necessary for you. We also have the key of wands here with a little gecko, so look out for geckos and uh, reptilian type creatures. This is also showing to me that you guys are really trying to focus on your work, your craft, so whatever that craft is for you. And this King of Wands is showing me that you will have drive, you will have passion, it will come, it just may take a little while, okay? Um, and there may be people who are stressing you out, there may be people who are trying to come at you with too many kind of worries, you're kind of being pushed into a corner. And I feel like it's really important for you to just have patience and take time away from where you're at at the moment because it just feels very, very stressed out. And it's really, really time for you to think about yourself and not about anyone else because this is your life. And the more you focus on yourself, I feel like the more kind of grounded you will become, okay? So let's have a look at some astrology. Let's have a look at some astro dice and see what is coming through for this. We have uh, the 11th house, we also have Gemini, and then we also have Mercury. So Mercury and Gemini are basically showing that there's a lot of communication coming in, okay? You could be connecting with somebody who has Gemini in their chart, 
Also have Gemini as a star sign as well. The 11th house is all about where you are in society. It's the traditional house of your friends. It's about gifts, awards, profits, professional acquaintances, alliances and organisations. So the fact that this is in Gemini is showing me that you are going to have some friends very soon. You're going to have people that really, really suit you. You're going to have a lot of people coming towards you that are on your wavelength. And a lot of people who are coming towards you are going to be really, really good at conversation. You're going to have really strong conversations with these people. And it's going to be a time where you are going to have really, really good, strong conversations. And it's, it's not about surface conversation. It's about kind of very intellectual conversation. Gemini's are very intellectual people, especially in Mercury, because they talk a lot. <laughs> Gemini and Mercury's talk a lot, okay? So let's see what else we have. We also have Cancerian, and we also have the Moon. So you could have Cancerian Moon. Um, this is basically showing also to me, uh, we also have, oh, we have Gemini here as well, gorgeous. So you could be connected with someone who has Gemini and Cancerian very prominently in their chart. They could also have a Gemini Moon. So it's just showing to me that you guys are really in your feelings right now. You're really kind of feeling restricted. And if you are connected for, with the moon, if you're very, very connected with that energy, then this is definitely going to make you feel that as well. It's going to make you feel even more overwhelmed. And if you are feeling overwhelmed, it could just mean that you just need to take a step back and take a break. Because sometimes that's all we need to do is to literally just give ourselves a break because sometimes life can get really, really hard, especially if there's anything to do with the moon, because the moon is all about your intense emotions and how you feel towards yourself, okay? So that's what I'm feeling, guys. I feel like it's everything's going to work out fine. I feel that like you just need to just chill and know that it's going to be okay. It's really important for you to just nurture yourself. This Cancer moon is very nurturing. It's very um, feminine. It's very um, kind of caring and protective. So it's really important for you to just be in your feelings right now and just flow with it as much as you possibly can, okay? So thank you so much for watching, guys. If you'd like a private reading, all my information is down below. I'm also working on some jewellery, so if you're interested, let me know in the comments and I'll get some pictures out for you guys. And I'll speak to you very soon. Much love. Bye. Namaste. Hello, group number two. Let's get started with your reading. We have the gorgeous rose quartz. Which is gorgeous. Let's see what your future is in five minutes. So we have Conceive. Beautiful. So I really, really love this card. It's so stunning. It has a really gorgeous message. Very, very light and fluffy. Kind of reminds me of cotton candy or candy floss, we say in England. Okay, we also have Enthu Oh, I thought it says enthusiasm, but it says euphoria. Euphoria Euphoria is a cosmic connection to the magic within and around you. We also have Innocence. Wow, this is very, very light and fluffy, this group. I really, really like this group. So we also have the Hierophant, the Two of Cups. Well, that makes sense, doesn't it? And then we also have the uh, eight, eight, eight of Swords. Sorry, guys. The Eight of Swords. So for you guys, it's really, really important for you to just connect with your innocence, connect with your childlike nature if you haven't already. I feel like just looking at this, you guys, most of you are really, really connecting with your childlike nature. Um, I really, really feel like it's important for a lot of you guys to focus on getting grounded. I feel like there's going to be a love coming towards you as well that's going to help you to be more grounded and to help you to um, nurture your inner child. This love card is really showing me that a lot of you guys are going to get pregnant. But if you're not looking to get pregnant, then I don't think you will get pregnant. It's only those who are, delib are who are conceiving and are aware they want to get pregnant, okay? So with this nine, eight, I keep saying nine swords, eight of swords, it's basically showing that you guys are worrying. You're worrying, you're feeling possibly overwhelmed about adulting, like being an adult. <laughs> you're probably scared that basically things aren't going to work out for you. And there isn't growth where you are at the moment. But this is showing me that you need to just focus on the love for yourself and you need to focus on nurturing your inner child and just doing things that really make you happy. This is really showing me there is definitely going to be a cosmic connection that's going to really help you to lighten your mood. So if you're feeling pretty low, then that's really going to help you. This conceived card is also showing me there's going to be a group of people coming in to help you and support you. So before we look into those cards, the astrology cards, I'm going to roll some astrology dice and we're going to see what we get here. Okay, so we have this, I thought we had the uh, sun, but this, this is Neptune in Pisces. 
with the seventh house. The seventh house is all about your settling, your place, partnerships, relationships, divorce, anniversaries and death. So the fact that this is in Pisces is basically showing me you guys that you guys are possibly going to be connecting with a Pisces. You're possibly going to have a relationship with a Pisces. And this is basically showing me that you guys are going to be in a relationship that's very, very spiritual, okay? Very, very spiritual. This is also showing me that you guys are really, really connecting with yourself, your inner self. Especially the fact that we've got Neptune because Neptune rules Pisces. And the fact that we have that together is a gorgeous conjunction. <laughs> like this, gorgeous conjunction. This is basically showing me that... Things are going to be working out really well. Things are basically going to be aligning really, really nicely. Things are going to be aligning really, really nicely. Okay. So this is also showing me, as I say, a very spiritual connection. It could be a male or female. As I said, it doesn't have to be a certain um, sex. And this is basically all about your instincts, your psychic ability. As I say, a very spiritual connection. And this is all about having big plans in mind. Um... People with uh, Neptune in Pisces always have big plans in mind, um, but they also often lack the organisation and discipline needs to follow through on the plans. So this is basically having a lot of ideas and possibly just basically having your childlike sense of wonder here as well, which is what this is all about, because Pisces is a very playful, young energy. So that's really, really amazing. I love that, guys. That's really, really good. So let's see what else is going to come through with the astrology cards. Okay, we have Libra and we also have the second house. This is the material world, possessions, security and aesthetics. So the fact that this is in Libra is basically showing me that you guys are trying to balance out your home life as well. You're trying to make like your house a really, really beautiful space for yourself. And the connection between Pisces and Libra is really, really gorgeous. Um, I just, oh, sorry guys. I really do feel like you guys are really having some sort of connection with a Libra or a Pisces I definitely feel that and I feel like you are becoming more of a mother figure so I definitely feel like for a lot of you guys you're going to be getting pregnant especially if you want to have babies Let's see what else we have so Libra could also be your star sign and Pisces could also be your star sign this is all about aesthetics idealist um People pleasing, indecisive, judgmental, flattering. We also have the 11th and 12th house. The edge and surrender. And we also have the 10th house here. So it's definitely an element of advancing. So you could also be advancing in your love life as well. This is friendships, group activities, the subconscious mind and compassion. So this is really, really good because it's showing me you guys are going to get a lot of friends. As I said, a group of friends. And with this 12th house, it's the subconscious mind, dreams and karma. So I do feel like a lot of your karma is being rewritten and your karma is basically changing. And really look out for your dreams, especially looking out for uh, image of angels and things like that uh, really coming in. Okay, also neon signs I feel like is very important. So thank you for watching, guys. I really hope you liked this video. If you want to have a private reading with me, all my information is down below. And I will be uploading more frequently, hopefully in the future. So look forward to that. Also, I am going through quite a rough time, guys, so don't don't um, focus too much on me uploading too much because I am kind of in a little bit of a weird time, but I will do my absolute best because I love you guys, I love this channel, and I really, really love helping you guys out. Also, if you'd like to um, subscribe to my channel, please feel free, like and comment down below, and I'll speak to you very soon. Namaste. Much love. Bye. Hello, group number three. Let's get started with your reading. So we have the gorgeous selenite wand. I love this. This is so, so, so pretty. See what your future is in the next five minutes. We have synchronicity. Cycles. Everything has its right time. Honor the cycles of your body. Tune into the moon's magic. Banishment. You have the power to banish negative energy and unwanted problems. That's really, really nice. I love this because this is so, this is actually so synchronistic just looking at these cards. Oh, we also have beauty. When beauty is felt from within, your gorgeousness will glow. The cards we have from the tarot are the tower, six of wands and the knight of pentacles. So you guys are really looking for stability. You guys are really looking for feeling comfortable within your own skin. And there is quite a lot of negative energy around you, but I feel like this is just a cycle that's kind of happening and that's meant to happen and you will get through it, okay? It is literally just a cycle and you will end up getting through it. 
So the synchronicity that's coming through is a number three. Three and one also makes four, so number four also. So look out for four and three. With this banishment, it's basically telling you that you do have the you do have the confidence to actually banish anything that is no longer serves you. So, and also to understand to love yourself and that will help you to release anything that does not serve you anymore, okay? The synchronicity is really showing me that people will help you out. If you need to talk to somebody, then really, really do that. And also spirit is with you, okay? And they will help you through whatever you're going through. This could be to do with a earth sign. It could be just to do with a stubborn energy that wants to move, but you're really struggling to let it flow. So with the Tower, Six of Wands and the Knight of Pentacles is also showing me you're going for a really intense time. You're going for a time where things are really, really hotting up and being very, very shaken up. But it's basically for your highest good and it's going to really help you to move forward. Move forward successfully as well, guys. And you're going to get the recognition that you deserve um, if you're waiting for recognition on some area, whether it's your love life, whether it's your work life, whether it's some sort of hobby you know you will get the recognition and you will also get the recognition in, in your work life especially because you're going to be gaining some more money because of that with this king of pentacles i do see an earth sign coming towards you somebody who's very grounded somebody who focuses on their material possessions but also somebody who's really committed to you and someone who really wants to be in a relationship with you okay so we also have the astro dice so let's see what we have here i'm going to shake them up a bit Okay, so we have the fifth house of Sagittarius and we also have Uranus. So this could be also Uranus Sag as well. So fifth house in Sagittarius is all about having freedom. It's all about having lots of options and things that excite you. And once such people find their true passion, there'll be nothing on the planet to stop them. And they're also very creative and they're very deep people. So this is definitely something that you're very passionate about. It's something that you want to be passionate about. It could also be a job that you, you're basically, this could also be quitting a job as well. And you want to quit, but you're scared. But they're basically telling you to do it. And this is also telling me you will find something that really, really suits you, okay? And Uranus is all about, it's the seventh planet. And it's all about change. It's all about shake-ups. And it's all about... Um, inventive power rights change tension and this is what this tower is all about it's basically shaking you up and making you go in a direction that gives you freedom because sag is all about freedom sages can't be tied down they don't like being tied down in terms of restriction restriction in not in terms of like relationships but more about in terms of their environment they love to travel and things like that so you will it's almost like you don't have a lot of money to travel as well possibly because you're in a job that is causing you to feel stuck or in a position that's causing you to feel stuck and once you release this, you move forward, you will be able to become more grounded, okay? So, let's see what else. Uranus is also ruled by Aquarius, and Aquarius is are very, very intuitive. So, if you get any intuitive hits about this situation, then definitely go with your gut and go with your intuition. North node, destiny, exactly. So, you're going towards your destiny, guys. You're going towards a learning curve that really, really suits you. Oh my God, first house, yes. So, this is all about the self. This is all about your life changing for the better. This is all about you starting a brand new cycle. It's a gateway, it's awakening, it's self awareness. This is your journey that you're meant to be on. And something is causing you to feel so stuck that you're just like, nope, no, no, I'm not up for it. I'm, I'm going to hide behind a closed door, you know? So, I really feel like this is going to change. We also have underneath Scorpio and Scorpios are very, very intense people. I'm a Scorpio myself, so I'm a very intense person. I can be very stubborn. It's very kind of compulsive, very deep, very transformative. And this is all this transformative energy here. It's all extremely transformative, guys. I'm getting so passionate about this you can tell <laughs> so i definitely feel like you guys are really really going to focus on yourself focusing on yourself will really help you to become much more understanding of where you're at and also we have the snake here and the snake is all about transformation it's all about shedding that old skin that no longer serves you whatever form that's in and to basically just 
focus on where you're going because you are going in a really good route okay so thank you so much for watching guys if you would like a private reading all my information is down below and i, I will hopefully be uploading more frequently but just bear with me i'm going for a really weird time so just bear with me i love you guys thank you so much for your support also hello to all my new subscribers from miria's channel um, I do normally upload more frequently at the moment, but at the moment, not so much, uh, because I'm just going through a weird time. Uh, also, if you'd like to subscribe, please feel free. Uh, I'm also working on some crystal jewellery, so look out for that. And if you're interested, please comment down below, and I will upload some photos of the jewellery that I'm, I am working on. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll speak to you very soon. Namaste. Much love to you. Bye.